If it weren't for a quarter-life crisis, the North Loop's newest bar probably wouldn't exist. Uh, the idea formed around a group of 20-something friends just really trying to find themselves while still on a college budget. The result is where Mike's Mix is made this week, Dalton and Wade Whiskey Common. We were trying to figure out a way to hang out socially where the bar scene didn't get in the way. And one of the guys threw out the idea of watching Western movies. Sorry, we're closed. Well, then what are all these people doing here? Drinking and having a good time. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. You're too stupid to have a good turn. I mean, some of them were really bad. The mission became, let's try to find the best $10 bottle of whiskey or less that we can, and it kind of became a competition. Owner Paul Abdo and his friends realized that bad movies are always bad, but inexpensive whiskey doesn't have to taste cheap. Cabin still, old overhaul, mellow corn, and they were really good just like sipping, drinking whiskeys. Guys heard about that, and it swelled to about, I think, I want to say 40 guys. Today, Dalton and Wade stays true to that Western Wednesdays ideal, from the design to the vibe to the menu. It's country food or like country classics is kind of the way that we look at it. Meatloafs and chickens and pot roast, uh, you know, corn, hash, that type of stuff, where it was just, uh, you know, that simple food, Tastes really good, simple ingredients. And Chris Massey has the bar stocked. Pretty much anything I could find in Minnesota that's brown, okay, is there. So everything from the expensive Japanese whiskeys down to the down to the ten dollar, under ten dollar, ancient age, ten high, um, old crow. We sourced everything. Cocktails are all nine bucks or less. So we're focusing on drinks that really highlight whiskey. Old fashions and highballs are the main part of the menu. The Ora de Verano, summertime is a highball made from tequila's smokier cousin, a spirit called mezcal. The magic ratio for a highball pairs one part spirit. This is the machetazo mezcal. With a little sugar. This is a Fresno chili pepper infused simple syrup for a little sweetness and heat. Not too much. You want to kind of curb it. You don't want to overpower or kill your palate. And three parts club soda. This is a cocktail where you want more dilution. You than do. You do yep. in, a, in a old fashioned. Absolutely, yeah. And you want it to be refreshing. Whereas an old-fashioned is, I almost think of it as almost a, a dessert cocktail. To describe this flavor, it's very light. Yeah. It's actually quite sweet, and yet you still get the hint of smoky at the end. A more traditional highball on the menu mimics southern sweet tea. We take Jim Beam rye, infuse it with black tea, a half ounce of a lemon syrup. And a soda water topper. And scarily, it tastes like sweet tea, too. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't taste like alcohol at all. All right, it looks like they have about every kind of whiskey and yes. bourbon there is. Yeah. But do they also serve beer and wine? And beer and wine, absolutely. Uh, no wine is more than $10 okay. a glass. No cocktail there costs more than $9. Hmm. So that's a pretty good deal. It is. If you want to just make those at home for free, though, you can go to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix for the recipes.